Imagine you could shapeshift into anything you want with both vanilla and custom mobs who out of the 100 players will survive with just one life. Well, in the next few real life days in my hardest challenge yet, that will be put to the test. Starting from day one, within the Badlands I spawned in, I began to explore and search for some loot while running away from the other players. That's when I stumbled upon my first structure. There's an outpost. Can I get to it first though? Rushing to be the first one inside of it. Please don't be any pillagers. Oh, get up here. Okay. Yo! Yo! After getting the loot, I got confronted by three other players. And with there being more people here than at my birthday party, I ran out of here hearing some villager noises. You're a villager, Ink. Oh, it's these guys. And my investigation came to a close. Yes! This marked my first morph, a pillager, giving me increased attack damage with an axe and immunity against hostile mobs. Here, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh my god. God, I got my first morph. I'm getting out. Oh. Then I swam away from that structure like I do with all my life problems. Yeah, screw that. Get me out of this place. I mined some stone, made some tools, and set a foot on my second adventure. It led me to this plateau where I soon realized realized I was not alone. Anyone up here? What the hell did I just hear? That a tiger? These guys were territorial. So the moment I got a little bit too close, they pounced at me, leading me to run away again. My food supplies were running low, so I began to search for some more loot. And that's when I saw a tower in the distance. Oh, is that a centipede? Yo, there's players around here. That's when I met this guy, Sir. Yo, 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 are you friendly? With him being super friendly, we decided to take this structure on together. Dude, there's centipedes in there. <laughs> oh my God, they're on the ground too. This tower was infested with centipedes, which was a huge advantage if we were able to kill one because the centipedes do poison damage. I hate bugs. I hate bugs. I cannot go near them. <laughs> with us heavily ungeared, we decided it wasn't worth risking our one life for this. Luckily, there was a structure not too far from here as well. But on the way, I found a cow that this player, Noski, was trying to take from me. But I stole it and stole the more. This marks my second more, making it so I can generate leather and also be milk. That sounds weird. After that fiasco, I began to loot this place, finding lots of iron. Ew, oh, you killed one of them? Noski. Golden apples and a bone. Bomb. Look, I got a bomb! <laughs> no. Come here, Noski! <laughs> I realized Noski and Surge weren't too hostile and had a team called the Cats. So they asked me if I needed a team. I decided I would be safer in a team, but I needed to meet their leader. Too many people showed up, which put a threat to my life and totally wasn't my agonizing social anxiety, so I fled the scene. They led me to their base of operations. Cat headquarters. Is this where you're basing? Yeah, it seems like a good spot in Ohio. Annoying to get True. Oh yeah, look, I got the, the legendary morph. Oh my god, it's Noski. <laughs> it may not look like much, seeing as it's a camp, but this is where our great empire will be built. I met Eok, who accepted me as a pawn, and with every great nation, our first trial would be world hunger. That's right, we're solving world hunger in this video. All we were given were the 10 arteries we started out with, and realized this would kill a lot of the shapeshifters. So I started to collect some seeds. I bring to I you water. You no! No! And build built the cat empire's first farm. Agricultural revolution aside, I cooked up some of the food I got from killing some mobs, wondering if some of them were smothered remains of fellow shapeshifters. It honestly could have been. My goal of getting the centipede morph was still on my mind. If I could get a hold of that before anyone else does, I'd be unstoppable. I also had a limited amount of times I can even morph, and the only way to use it unlimitedly is by obtaining a morph staff, which I needed to get. But for that, I need to get to the nether. The cat empire's leader Eopoke reached out saying he was in trouble with one of his new recruits. Found him in the badlands in a sticky situation. They were not kidding. But they both wanted the tiger morph since we're team cats. It'd be really fitting and I can't really blame them. But putting both of their lives on the line for just a silly morph? I wanted in on this idea as well. You know they can jump up, right? Guys, okay. I'm kind I'm of in a situation. Oh, uh, you made whole gang. <laughs> Yes, got it. Yo, I'm gonna kill this tiger. Yeah, what? You got something against against cats, buddy? Yes, I have a dog. This morph gave me a strength buff. Is there any more? Take, take, fight this one, fight this one. Wait, does anybody have flint steel? I have an idea. Oh, oh, oh. He's 
dying. He's dying. He's dying. <laughs> and with that, the cat empire fell apart. Its leader being six feet beneath the ground, it was sadder than the mac and cheese I burnt last week. Me and Oweka stuck together after realizing just how weak we really were, meaning a mining trip was due. So we went down. Upon going deeper, we found Ghosty, who wasn't too worried about us since we were weaker than him. He even gave us five diamonds and a bunch of iron. Oweka begins to prepare a devious plan, but told me almost none of it and that I had to find out what it was after he made it. So we kept mining and then we got encountered by a team known as Bar. I didn't quite trust them. They gave us diamonds. Everyone so far was being super friendly with us, which kind of made it seem like they were trying to earn our trust. But we had a bad feeling it was with malicious intent. We had nothing to back it up though. Also, do yes, you have food? No, I like have beetroot seeds. Stop, stop, look at me. Look at what you just gave me. <laughs> look at this, look at this. I want you to watch. Can you hear this? Can you hear it? You think it's working? Oweka also managed to finish his devious plan. A TNT minecart made to blow someone up to their death. On our way out of the mines, we found this mouse guy who unsurprisingly Oweka wanted to slaughter. So we began to try to first talk to him. Doing? Any luck with the fishing? Then walked away and tried to sneak attack him. Hey, let's go back to that guy fishing. Let's see if we can mine car. Are you serious? Oh no. Quiet. Get your fork off. Okay. You loud right. tiger. Hail. I was busy mining a tree while Oweka was trying to TNT minecart him, but I think he got noticed. Oh, he saw me. Dude, I was like, bro, I, was, I felt like I was in Sky Wars like 2018 or some crazy <laughs> montage. That dude. also kind of failed. We're kind of bad at this. Let us know in the comments if there's any better way to do this because we kind of suck at this attacking stuff. This may have also just marked Mouse Guy as an enemy we had to look out for in the future. We went back to the old Cat Empire's base to see that Botch took leadership with a new team named FaZe. And with our crypto scams, we also got introduced to another threat to our nation, Apple. He was here since the very beginning during Eopoke's arc. He was also the person that kept bothering us at the start. Apparently, he was robbing us and plotting to kill us off while living with our team, marking him as a threat. Botch this decided to put a 50 diamond bounty on whoever kills him off. After the update, we took one step forward and faced our enemies, the centipedes. The last preparation I did was slapping infinity onto my bow, making it so I have infinite arrows. No way a centipede was getting anywhere near me now. We headed over to the centipede tower, getting stopped by some turtle bandit group. And with them distracted, I killed one of them off, gaining the turtle morph and I swam away like nothing happened. How to get away with murder. We finally arrived at the tower, but to our surprise, it was quiet. A bit too quiet. Someone went around and killed off every centipede here and the spawners. That was really bad. Despite the horrible news, there was something we didn't expect. I see it, I see it, I see it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah! Nice, nice. Can you fly? Let me try Phantom. This would give us the ability of flight. One of the most overpowered abilities we can gain in the entire mod pack. The only downside of this morph is that it's slowed when in flight. Regardless, I'll take it. We found a team making a shop by spawn. This was Ethan's little shop, which a bird began to rob and tear it apart as well. We are just not good people, are we? During this, Aweka had plans of his own, killing off a leader of a different team, Evie. He TNT might minecarted her, making even more enemies in this shapeshifter world. Back to our adventure. I also got myself a gorilla morph, which had a defense and strength buff. Our morph arsenal was looking good, but right when our guard dropped, we found this guy. He was super suspect, and Botch wanted this guy killed off, so we began to pressure him. Even as a creeper, we were trying to off him. But he realized we had no means of teaming with them. So he ran off. This led us to some cool looking ruin. No loot in here though. Then a bat began to chase us and kill us off with lava buckets. But we fled back to our base. Marking this as the end of day one. After a break, day two began, opening up the borders to some of the farther structures. There's a total of three giant structures filled with super good loot. So we picked a direction and headed over there. It's expanding. Agents, you gotta get there quick. Agents, go. You're the fastest one. They'll see you, right? And with our render distances, we noticed a castle. But wasn't the only ones that caught a glimpse of this. Yo, yo, I'm the only flying one around here. Nah, bro. <laughs> my thing. My structure. I found- You did not find nothing, bro. Nah, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with you, Agents. <laughs> 
Nah, you can fly higher. I'm faster than you. I left that boy soaring up there in the skies. Phantom versus Bat would get there first. And let the looting begin. <gasps> oh, yo, you guys don't see what I'm seeing? Bro, I just got a lodestone. I just got a sharpness for golden up. Damn. What? Hold that. Don't, don't tell anyone else. I have uh, we got everything. We can start breaking the chests. Come on now. Yep, yeah, let's, let's break them. Just... Let's break them. Whoa, yeah, nice. no, but like, you know. Oh, wait, I don't think I was. What? I got multi shot crossbow. That is OP. After that, we felt kind of underhanded. So we went back to the base and picked a different direction to find all three of the structures now open to us. A bit ambitious, just like Marco's upload schedule. This led us to a little village. However, it was pretty empty when a player stumbled upon the place, too. We shot at him with arrows, warning him of our presence. And with that, we kept our distance. Further discovering the village was a cover up or an underground dungeon. But right before we entered i need more health for this hold on yeah yo yo what's up a player named ethan found us and threw a bomb at us now we're finding out that he was hostile we entered before him be the first to loot it since he was waiting for his teammates that's when botch made it to our coordinates making us a three-man team there we also got another infinity book making us the only known team with two infinity bows we were powerful but just to put us at unease we found a chasm that led to some lava just to remind us that we can die at any moment here and right when we thought that everything we found in this room was taken a huge room filled to the brim with centipedes and skeletal warriors appeared Yo! oh my god i say we do it i say we do it centipedes, the centipedes. oh there is there's a lot of centipedes there might be good loot all right i'm going i say we do it you go down i say we do it they jump yo i see tnt you see i jumped down to see if it was even worth risking our lives and there i found some diamond stuff we realized this was the gold mine we were looking for all this time so with caution we began to infiltrate this place oh my god dude diamond diamond stuff break this chest when you take it yo yo, yo. the chest i just came from it had diamonds this really yeah. good chest oh dude are you still alive what happened to you is he good are you good what, you, what happened i don't know you scream something. guys i got one never i ain't good yo what? i got i got each yo I got each wait we're stacked stacked what? and that's when we got some company Crazy. Someone died, someone died, someone died. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, perfect, perfect. perfect. And pearls, diamonds, kaboom. Oh yeah. Now we get the morphs. Let's go. Wait, do you think we missed anything in our last structure then? We might miss something. Maybe. Alright, be careful, be careful. I have blocks on you. We gotta destroy the spawners. Yeah, TNT minecarts too. Careful, 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 careful. Yo, they're still spawning. Yeah, I'm I'm building. Nuski, build, build, build. Build up, build up, build up, build up. It truly was a shapeshifter's heaven. We weren't the only people here though, so we were on edge. Oh, hey Davido. Wait, Davido, you go walk past them if you're a mob. Yeah. Oh, oh god. Damn. I got looting too. Is there any more back here? Guy, don't go in the water. I want to get a fish. Get Jesus. Ah! I also found this crazy room in the Love back fish. with a lot Love of fish, fish, giving me both a shark and a fish morph for stacking. I have full netherite. Damn. And after hearing that my friends have netherite, I decided to make a piece myself. Then I found a room with TNT. Explosive ideas aside, I took the TNT. Yeah, there's a lot of mobs. <laughs> there's not even anything here. Honestly, it's kind of lagging like hella. Some of our team even got full netherite armor sets. We were a force to be reckoned with. Well, I kind of only had a netherite chest plate. There's one more structure it's we can go to. That's when a shapeshifter approached us. Who are you? What? You part oh. of a team? I've... Yeah, I'm with Onyx. Which is the Onyx? same team Apple is on. Onyx. Well, I'm like neutral with them. They're like my allies. He realized if he stayed any longer, we would have killed him. So he ran off. With us having a good bearing of our surroundings, we began to farm the skeletal warriors for experience so we can start enchanting stuff. The last thing I ended up getting here was in a nearby cave. There it was. A bat. A creature that's faster with my movements and the phantom giving me a decent flight ability. And with that morph, I went back to the base, pushing that we needed to start building up our own empire. This was a sad little camp we had, despite our ambitious building plans. We found an area by spawn, but it was a little bit too close to our liking. So we found this tree with plans to build a giant tree house. Whoa, this is a really nice tree. Ended up making the first floor of the place and an area to look over at the top of it. This was the start to something great. Our empire's first official base. There was gonna be seven floors to this tree house, each serving its own.
own purpose. But I noticed my teammates were gone. I ended up finding them talking in the distance. Like talking to me. So I flew over there as a bat, kind of spy on what they were discussing. I wonder what they're talking about. Apple about Onyx, how he's the only one left in Onyx so far. And he wants to make until that until that point it ends. No? And it was about Agent Apple. Unsure about what they were talking about, he showed up at the base few moments later. Was I getting betrayed? Did my teammates sell me off to Apple in hopes to get them as a powerful ally? And if so, would this mark the end for me? With me being uneasy, I kept some TNT minecarts on me in case they decided to strike back at me. I followed them to the mountain and even to the planes trying to figure out what they were talking about but i was too high up to even hear them and probably for the best because i didn't want them to spot me i kept tabs on them and flew back to our home base treehouse setting up a trap that would kill whoever came back to the base assuming that they betrayed me with the tnt minecart set up i played along acting like i was building here all along as all three of them came back to the base and i saw someone enter the treehouse i pushed the minecart blowing up the treehouse with it Closing the end of what looked like a phase nation story. All the memories we had as a team, our leader dying, us killing off other leaders. I guess things always have to come to an end, but he lived. The apple guy lived running away. The trap failed. I did it wrong. No. And that's when I realized it was all a misunderstanding. They weren't betraying me at all. They were trying to kill off Apple by earning his trust. And after explaining the situation to us, we were fearful of Apple and his team. With the reminder of our day, we explored the third dungeon, which was an apothecary with decent loot inside, but no dungeon we hoped would be beneath it. On some Joe Goldberg type of behavior but we did shop there for furniture like it was in ikea and i brought it back to our treehouse along with fixing up the damages as well it began to get late so i headed off the server to sleep in real life and i woke up today Three, which is when the nether is now finally open for the first time. I got some unsettling news though. Our tree house was apparently burnt down and the person responsible was Apple. Really didn't appreciate the fact we tried to kill him off yesterday, but Botch fixed up as much of the tree house as he possibly could. We knew this location was no longer safe and we had to get our revenge. But this now meant that I no longer had a place to call home. So I set foot or wing in this case and went to explore for a bit. Ended up finding Evie's memorial. The girl that Aweka killed was a leader of a different team just to realize how aggressive of a team we've truly become. No point of going back now. But that's when I found this suspicious looking shack. Oh wait, Avrix's estate? Please don't trespass. Oh. Oh. Okay. I knew there was, like, I had a hunch that something was hidden. I feel like there's more to this than just that, though. Nope, that was literally it. With some time that passes, the treehouse was revamped, and it kind of looked like a vase. Whoever designed this never built a house in their life. Potch ended up making a basement, but it seemed we had a bit of an infestation. We looked and looked, but no spawner was found. We ended up calling it quits. While flying around the place, I found a fly. Killed it, but it left me with one heart, and couldn't even fly. Like, why do you exist, you useless creature? I then realized I needed a vault where I could store valuable items. Since the base was a known location to our enemies and to basically the entire server, I built up here. No one's finding this thing. I could barely even find this thing. That's when I came up with an idea. Since in a few hours, a bunch of people were gonna hop on for the first time, I wanted to murder them because it was the weekend and people were free. So I then did some intensive research, which totally wasn't just one TNT trap Minecraft video and a single player world to test this experiment to make sure I knew exactly what I was doing for this build so that the TNT minecarts actually fall. Right? And the fall damage should... All right, we got proof of concept. Let's hop on the server now. Oof. And with a few stolen chests, I was ready. During the time I was off the server, we allied with this guy named Milk, adding him kind of to our team. Milk and Botch helped me prepare this trap, and I found the perfect victim for this setup. Tree. I, I meant tree. That's when the nether was enabled. It was off since the beginning of the event, and we finally can enter it. I needed a blaze rod to give myself unlimited morphs by crafting the morph staff. So we entered Entered. Yeah! This is actually. Oh, I, no, no. I think it was Cool Boy that was the first one. Oh, the second one's here. Yep. Oh, he's right here. Oh, it's a gorilla! Shh. 
Yeah, it's not just we found Cool Boy in there, who was in the same team as Apple, with their team being named Onyx. So we tried to murder him off with some lava. All right, do we have a lava bucket? Uh, I have a bucket, but with no lava at the moment. We can murder him. Wait, if you drop me the bucket, I could grab it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Drop an eye on the gorilla. Drop buckets. Oh, Ooh, okay. Where's this gorilla? What the hell? Well, we need to block the portal or he'll just dip and then see your base. Well, if, no, you no, can, no. if you guys can get him here, else. I can block off the Look at him flailing around. I don't even know how he's surviving this. He doesn't have any way to <laughs> we can always team him. We <laughs> lobbed at him, but he lived that. He like took four ticks of it and just like lived it for 20 yeah, he seconds. He like tanked. Damn. How did he live? What the hell? After the failed murder attempt, I flew around also in search for some structures with our team of four. Uh, they just went forward to explore. Ooh, if we get wither heads, we can spawn the wither at spawn. <laughs> we could be the wither. Oh, yo, that's true. I ended up finding some striders. Okay. <gasps> Found him. Whoa. Oh, chill, bud. And killed them. Yeah, I got and a strider. I don't want to test each I don't want to test it. No, you try. Now we have a morph that's immune to fire. This was huge. This kind of reminds me of a video I made around like a year or two ago. Crazy how it kind of goes full circle. You take fire damage? Oh, that's amazing. How much health does it have, though? It has 10 health. Breaking. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, uh, <laughs> the straddlers, dude. That's I, what we're going to be called now. Strider straddlers. I need so slow. There's two more. Oh, you could kill them. Yeah. You have a, wait, wait, don't fire here. Oh, they're kind of slow, though. Right? Yeah, they're really yeah, slow. They're striding. I also heard a really weird screech, which puts me off. We kept pushing. What me. the? What the? <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> Whoa. Is that a toad? I think so. Oh, oh ghost stone. We can make harming potions. That goes through the nether, if I remember. Big red ocean filled with islands. Me in the nether. And during my search in the nether for a structure, I ended up finding this wall Ew, crawling what thing. what the hell are you? Oh my god, I got the more. And as I was casually minding my own business. It's like running to them. <laughs> oh. And that was when this blood sucking, home wrecking, cicada licking bug attacked me. But I only survived because I turned into a strider. A mosquito, bruh. A mosquito. Dude. And Dude. right when I almost saved myself, this stupid Dude. serpent ambushed me. But I made it. I was alive. Damn. Did I get it? He serpent. <laughs> Why do oh I- Oh my god, I'm almost dead. Are you okay? Yeah. A mosquito got me. And it was dragging me to the <laughs> lava. I had to turn into a strider and eat golden apples. That's when Lamer gave us some coordinates to some blazes. The reason blazes were so broken was we can finally get rid of these stupid flappy birds flying mechanic. My thumb was genuinely feeling numb from how many times I had to press spacebar just so I could fly as a bat. Blazes gave us creative flight and fire immunity. And we were here at last, killing off my first blaze making me overpowered on our way back home our teammate surge died to natural causes there's another one down after realizing our rng was no better than a genshin roll gambler in cambodia i then started to rig this tree trap and it was done that's when it was about time the masses begin joining all the new players alike tons of people joined the server the tree we fully rigged up ready for an unsuspecting victim to break the bottom log on the tree and blow themselves up into some smithereen Okay, they're, uh, out, they're out, they're out, they're out, they're out. It's kind of like an experiment. Oh, oh, someone's moving. Oh, oh someone's coming straight. He went directly past it. Oh, <laughs> he's being chased. <laughs> Someone else. People. Oh, oh. he's going to be. Oh. Oh. <laughs> they're all passing it. Oh, damn. They're oh, passing no. up the wood. Oh, I don't. God. Right? That one right there, too. Oh, oh. <gasps> he disconnected. Oh, okay. We don't have anything useful in our base chest, right? Because they could rob us. Uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> shoot. Hey, oh, we'll be fine. I, I got full netherite just like two seconds ago. We were chilling. Dude, uh, I just told them to take all the valuable. Wait, someone turned into a slime. <laughs> what the hell? I like how what they just kind of like sit here? there. I see Ezreal. <laughs> oh, wait, I think they're talking. <laughs> Why are there blazing? Hey, everyone. Oh. Yo. Oh, I forgot. I forgot. Oh, Yo, oh I someone's I dead. Keep, I would start moving. Someone's yeah, dead. You can morph into other players? What? Oh, yes. cool. And it worked. We killed off three people in the great trap of ours. <laughs> How many died? Like three to that? <laughs> I think two or three, yeah. Oh, yeah he just jumped in the lava. What? There's no way.
<laughs> we realized it wasn't the random people who hopped on today that was our enemy in the first place. It was Apple. He stole from us. He burnt down our house. And he alone was our team's greatest enemy. So we went on the hunt. But what we ended up finding is this very mysterious house. And I found this random Blaze who wasn't part of my team. He was an ally of Apple. So I began to attack him. Blaze Warfare. We both had a bunch of golden apples. So this was a very chaotic fight. It got brought in down to land even. But just as he ran out of gapples, he fled the scene like a little girl. Well, at least he knew who'd win. And unluckily for this guy, I stumbled upon a full diamond player, killing him off. My hands had a ton of blood on it. Besides the murdering, I stumbled upon a house, which was identical to the first house I found before. Very confused as to who actually owned it. It had to be amongst the 100 players that hopped on on day one. I decided to show it to Bob. a whole different base. What? Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, it is a different base. This is a whole different <laughs> Wait, now I'm confused. Why are there two of the same thing? Yeah, let's go to the original base. Can you take me there? Yeah. Yeah, I uh, it should be there it is. And we found a dungeon underneath it that we've yet to explore. Where does this lead? Yeah, it's just Oh! Oh my god, I thought I died to him. There's a dungeon in here. It's just yeah, it's just some weird dungeon. I don't really know. I don't think I found one of these before. Mm -hmm. This is the first time. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here so right now. Yeah. Yeah, all the chests are oh, it's it's freaky stuff. After all of this, we headed home to make sure nobody stole any of our stuff. Oh wait, yeah, did someone die? It. Wait, what the hell? Oh, <laughs> Hey, you killed Nigel, bro. I did not. Whoa, what the whoa, hell? Whoa. Nah, his name literally I, has. Uh, he was not Nigel. I don't have any more TNT. I think we can make some more, though. Did anyone do anything? We're safe. I can't believe no one went here. Yet. Who knows where they They probably went underground, seeing as there's blazes flying around. <laughs> yeah. And I, I honestly wouldn't blame them. <laughs> that's terrifying. It's true. We were not the good guys. You were rooting for our team. And I guess that says a bit more about you than it does me, doesn't it? Guys, guys, that blaze was chasing me. He was trying to kill me. Another blaze? There was a blaze over there trying Wait. to kill me. Wait, was it the mouse guy? We found someone being chased and asked us for help. Yo. Wait, mouse guy? I saw him for like half a second and then he just went out of the distance. There's another portal over here. Did you go in? Is there a base near here? Adrian, you're wanted dead. Why? Mouse, mouse guy wants to kill you. He came over here, threatened the team, then he wants to kill you. Mouse guy? Yeah. Does he have any teammates? I don't think he does. I don't know. He's solo, yeah. We can take him. Yeah. Yeah. Solo. Ooh, he was a blaze. He was a blaze. Oh. He's with oh. Apple. I think he's the only the other yeah, 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 all yeah. the people the one that they're he keeps coming <laughs> over here and threatening me i don't feel safe and oh, i thought a crow up, could bro. fly but it I can't had a little alliance why can't, can't i fly <laughs> you know i'm gonna just be a turtle duel is as powerful Duel's as its user yeah. <laughs> oh that's actually, that's crazy. <laughs> no, B caps died. B caps? Wait, that was the one we just like let. <laughs> yeah. Leave, right? We found Apple and this other guy both approaching us. They had all the gear they needed to launch a full out attack against us and the treehouse. Mouse? Agent mouse. Apple? Hold up. I don't know. Guys, are you around here? I saw your name. Mouse guy. Hey, Agent Apple. You I don't guys, get nah, jumped. nah, nah, nah. You guys burned our house down. We didn't burn your house down. We didn't. No, we didn't. Uh, who did that? Burned everything. Who else could? No one we else could. No one else no knows one where we live. Not even an hour after we left. Look, 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 it's done? Agent Apple. Yeah. Botch, get off the blaze for him. Come on. I want to see who else could have done it. Let's just, let's just go macho macho. Take off the blaze ourselves. Who else could have? <laughs> the first thing you do Sorry, bro, when I'm at your base, try to blow me up Wait, in your I own house. Happen. You were hanging out around our base. You should not be hanging around our base. They turned into iron golems, which gave them OP strength. Now, watch this one. All right. You know what? You know what? Oh my god. Yeah, let's go, guys. All right, all right, all right, bet. You know what? It's just for our house. For our house. And the fight began. Hey, yo, run. He does damage. I do damage! Burn! Carnage! Die! Die! Ah! I love... I kill him! Ah! Ah! Oh! During the fight, Botch died, but we killed off two of the Onyx members, putting an end to the beef between the two teams. He's gone! No! Adrian's, they're gone! No, 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 Adrian's No! But at what cost? The ally? My last ally I had that was part of the original team I started out with? Crazy. What is the point if they weren't here to enjoy this with me? Damn. I, dude, I didn't know Iron Golems did so much. I know, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I, I did a lot to Mouse. This gorilla is really strong. Guys, you know, I'm 
sorry I couldn't help you guys. I was just. Ah, uh, nah, it's okay, bro. You can do anything. To be of a hobo. <laughs> no, uh, it was Apple. Dude, that was crazy. I, I like morphed into somebody else that I accidentally killed. I think. Yeah, but you get mad with a part of our team. Bro, by I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep botches. <laughs> Start working on the Apple funeral died. or um botch. We ended up making him a grave, putting down skulls in the grave and some items that reminded us of him and called it a day. For their sake, I try my best to make it so our team wins the event. I decided it would be a cool idea to have someone do our bidding since we had the most broken morph in the game. So this was Ezreal. He's doing a bunch of killing on our behalf. I got my friend. I got a friend, guys. Yeah, here, Ezreal. You're gonna kill on our behalf. He ratted out his teammate. They just kind of kill, kill all, but, all yeah. of the people you pass <laughs> begin. Get your blood, <laughs> blood flow. Anyone you see that's not us, kill them. Murder them, no matter how much they beg. All right, get to it. Get to it, Ezreal. Go. Time is money. As Ezreal moves forward, sniffing out the enemies, just like he was in the One Piece event. Being Zoro, he's lost his Wait, 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 just let me explain, let me explain, let me explain. Blood. Just... Blood. Blood. Blood for the blood for the blood god. There's another one. There's a bird yeah. hiding underneath that tree. This is all you got this. It's in your blood. You are the honored one. Is someone down here? Oh, there was a bird, like a crow. People left. Robin, run! And he's dead. Damn. I even gave him stuff, too. Bro, I have a broken wrist. I should have <laughs> a broken wrist? Yeah. I up under the oh, I Mega was slain. You can see I was stacked. That's when I gave Ezreal my master plan on fishing this last guy out. You should message him and be like, yo, can we team? Because the other guys are all in one team. So he's using name. events. Down there. Yo, I saw a username like fully down here. Oh, ground. he said he wants to see him. Hold on. Yeah, if you go exactly down, you should see him. Wait, someone's breaking. Someone's breaking. Up. Dude, you're so smart. He was actually oh, okay. I play him. Bro, Holy. Oh, yeah, no, like a yeah. oh. He was a crow and he was just like breaking in, in a one block so no one could get him. And now all that was left was Ezreal. He had to go. It was over. All that remained was the phase members. Our team had won. If you guys want more videos just like this one, look at me and subscribe.